Hey, we're here at the Food IT event here in San Francisco, presented by The Mixing Bowl, and I'm talking to Christoph Mills with Heston Smart Cooking. How are you doing, Christoph? Good, thanks, Michael. Well, I've talked to you quite a bit about what you do, mm -hmm. but let's, let's start from the beginning for folks who aren't familiar with, with Heston and Heston Q. What is this product? Yeah, so one year ago we launched a Heston Q, which is a smart cooking system, uh, basically an app with video guided recipes step by step that are connected to a uh, cooktop, a smart cooktop, and a, bur a pan, set of cookware pan and pans and pots that have sensors in there. So we actually guarantee you the result um, of the outcome, uh, and that uh, really is pretty much the difference to uh, you guessing your way through the recipe. We, we, we guide you through it, and the result comes out the way it should be. So consumers first started getting the Hessen Q cooking system a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, I would imagine you've learned a few things. Once you actually get this into the market, people start using it, you see data. Yep. What are some of the things you've learned? Yeah, a lot of good things. So first thing, we didn't know who would be the main audience for this. Um, and it turns out we have all ages from, 80, from 8 to 80 years old. Um, the other thing is uh, we didn't know whether people latch on to the guided cooking where it's really kind of step by step following through a recipe. Um, the alternative would be sort of very free improvised cooking. Uh, and we found out that people actually enjoy the guided cooking for the fact that you get the result that uh, did your promise. And uh, so now they gain confidence, uh, our users gain confidence and are actually um, applying more of their own techniques and recipes. Um, in total, we are really happy to see that we have uh, our power users that go out and cook three to four times a week. Um, that We didn't know that in the beginning, if that would be only one or two times, yeah, yeah. but three to four times is really good. And uh, in the first nine months or so, we saw people cooking about 90 recipes. Uh, and then within these 90 recipes, there were 60 different recipes. So that's actually, if you go on the street and you ask someone, how many different recipes did you cook the last nine months? Uh, it, I doubt you get uh, the number 60, yeah. which means they're very um, happy to try out new recipes. There's a low barrier of failure. And um, so that allows them to expand their repertoire and try out new things. And so they learn new things on uh, while they cook through these recipes. And that's one of the things that they value the most when we ask them. And so people who are using the system, learning how to cook new things, if they find a recipe they like and they come back to this, it becomes like a household favorite. Do they at some point start to wean themselves off? Uh, are you noticing maybe they're using less of the video guidance, but they're, they're still kind of using the software to help them cook a particular meal? Uh, that's a good question. There are some um, uh, people that love the convenience of being guided and having the timer, uh, even though they know the recipe already. And there are some that then say, OK, I know now how this works. And now I can go on my own and just set the temperature precisely. Yeah. And I don't rely on all the other video guided steps. Yeah. And this product, the Hessen Q, comes uh, kind of a, as a self-contained system. You have a, a, a Bluetooth uh, connected pan. Yep. You have, a, you have a, an induction burner. But you guys also, last, uh, last, late last year, you started to announce you're going to be working with appliance makers and putting the technology you developed into like bigger appliances. So talk a little bit about, a little bit about those efforts. Yeah, that's, that's right. So what we learned is that people want choices in their hardware and how they design their kitchen, what appliances yeah. they want in there. Um, and so we, we think always from the consumer side and we want to offer that to them. So we basically build our technology in a way that you can embed it in, in different uh, appliance manufacturers, uh, but have the same experience. Um, the one thing that drives also the thought is that most people don't have a kitchen that's only equipped with right. one brand of appliances. So um, by partnering with multiple appliance manufacturers allows us to give our users a seamless integration or seamless handoff uh, while they cook a whole meal. Because that's really our goal, get people to cook a whole meal uh, in their kitchen. So there is this industry debate of open versus closed, right? Mm -hmm. And when you look at the broader world, you, you kind of nailed it. In the reality, people are cooking with, they may have appliance maker from X and then uh, cookware maker Y, and mm -hmm. the refrigerator is a completely different brand. Mm -hmm. And making this, this different concoction of, of different components work together is, I think, a big challenge for the industry. And yeah. I think the, what you, you're saying, your company is 
opting to go open where people can right. use your technology, even another appliance maker. Right. Talk a little bit about this kind of idea, like how do we, how does yeah. this industry tackle this problem? What you guys are doing about that? Yeah, I think for most companies, this is a little bit of a paradigm shift. Right. Um, going from a, you know, very controlled, being a manufacturer and selling through your own channels and designing your own product to being in an ecosystem and having connection to different uh, partners that add another step in the value chain, right? And so the way we look at it is like, look, you can only you can only do so many things, right? We, you cannot be super good in building uh, all sorts of appliances, creating recipe content, creating software, bringing food into someone's house. So you need to connect with all of these steps in the value chain. And so uh, most companies, I've, I've not seen one company that isn't realizing that, but it's a, it's a paradigm shift in your business model, in your organization, all of this, not just the technology side, but that has to come along as well. I'm quite happy that we have the ability from our parent company and our own organization to partner with those different um, relevant services and, and, and manufacturers in the, in the industry. Yeah. At the beginning, when you were talking about uh, what you guys are building, it sounds like it straddles across a bunch of different age groups. Mm -hmm. um, yep. I, I, I've noticed that a lot of young people learning to cook that have tried things like Kessner or other systems, they embrace it because it's an education system. But also you guys are working with, uh, I, I think, a, an amenity, a resort up in, in Northern California where actually it, it's an amenity. And right. people may come in and use it. Maybe that's retirees who have time. They want to learn how to cook. So talk a little bit about like the different age groups and how they may be using your technology. Yeah, so um, we noticed that... Um, Older uh, people like to buy this for their family and their kids, even grandchildren, to have cooking sessions with them together. We noticed that the resource were interested to add this as an amenity, like you said, because Napa is a foodie destination, and uh, why not actually spend some time actually cooking and learning right. how to cook uh, in your vacation? People really love that idea. Uh, we also partnered with uh, the Culinary Institute of America. We did. We are giving cooking classes there on the Hessen Q, and people love that. Learning about new ways of cooking, uh, on technology, applying technology in the kitchen, but also learning the one-on-one on sauces, sauce making, for example. Uh, so that comes really well together. So they, the education part is really. Uh, interesting uh, on all on all ages, um, and yeah, the young the the younger kids like eight, ten, twelve, they just naturally gravitate to uh, you know cooking on Heston Q. It's fun for them. Yeah, yeah why not? Yeah. Well, where can people find out more about Heston? HestonQ.com. That's Q like C U E and Heston H E S T A N. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you.